excited about going to the FGC reunion, but I'm trying to do my hair and I'm absolutely dreading it. So this is basically doing a retouch of relax. I have my hair sectioned in four. Why didn't I just make an appointment to go see the hairdresser? I don't know. I figured I could do it myself as usual. <laughs> And I can do it myself, but I just, uh, you know what? I love doing hair. You guys already know I love doing hair and makeup and I love doing hair on other people. Doing hair on myself, it depends. The art of putting on the relaxer, it is so much better when somebody else does it for you. Anyway, let's get this started and stop procrastinating. <laughs> this is the mess I'm working with. I've got my phone that I'm going to use as a use as a clock. My brush to get this relaxer applied comes with all these, you know, bottles. Five, six, seven, eight. Comes with gloves. I hate these gloves because they slide up. But a little trick is to put a little Vaseline on your hands, rub it on, and then these will stick better. So we got the uh, activator, we got the actual relaxer, and of course when you're done make sure you have the neutralizing shampoo, that's the, probably the most important one. Wash this stuff off. Okay, I'm not telling you what to do with your hair. I love natural hair. I had natural hair for many years. I'm just simply showing you what I do to get mine the way it looks. My son had to help me with the back. Hold the mirror for me. This is not easy, oh. <laughs> Let me go wash this off. I think it's pretty straight. I washed off the relaxer uh, my daughter helped me rinse it off and then I put in the conditioner that came with it so that's what you see here is that I left the conditioner on and I had dinner um, watched a little TV fresh out the shower <laughs> now the long tarsus of task of drying my hair. Should I sit under the dryer? Should I just let it air dry? So this is what she's looking like. It looks straight, doesn't it? It looks straight. Straightish. You can see a little bit of texture right here. Okay. Packing, 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 packing. We bought some shoes. Let me show you my shoes. Can bought some white t-shirts actually Mariam packed some white t-shirts for you but I guess you never you can never have too many all right so let's show you the shoes that I just got not bad huh not bad the heel is not too high but not too flat they're supposed to be a little blingy I don't know if you can appreciate that here let's move into better light I also bought some glasses, yeah, sunshades. I actually need prescription sunglasses, with, but they're so expensive. So in the meantime, I bought these fairly in uh, affordable, cheap glasses, uh, sunglasses. Then I also bought some polish. This actually was Walmart Sally Jensen. It's kind of uh, somewhere between gray and a new pinky kind of. You know, very neutral for my fingers and for my toes. I'm going to get my daughter to put this on for me. This is a uh, China Glaze, I believe. I think I stole this from my mom. Because <laughs> she buys the expensive polish. I don't. Good morning, Mariam. She's all dressed. Got to get her hair done. <laughs> all right. Almost done. Almost done. Kareem's got a suitcase going. You would think we were going away for months, really. We're just going away for two days. And we're doing all this. Yeah, he's out there. Uh, Daddy's here. <laughs> Let me see that haircut. You guys, look at this haircut. I did this yesterday. I'm very proud of this haircut. It looks smooth. Whoop. 
<laughs> All right, so let me show you. I have an avocado, bacon, egg, tomato sandwich, and it's so yummy. Kareem made for me with the egg just squeezed out. Yes, that's how I like it. This is why it's nice to have teenagers. Look at my ashy feet. They need some lotion. But Mariam's doing her best to get me hooked up right. Huh, Mariam? And then I got to do her hair. Hey, Kareem. Let me see that avocado. Where's it going? Daddy. Oh, Daddy gets half an avocado too, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the chef in the house. Tall Kareem. Good morning. <laughs> yes. Welcome to Habiba Loves Kenton and Ken's blog. Habiba Loves Kenton? Yeah. Habiba Loves Kenton is my Instagram. Oh. <laughs> On YouTube, it is Kenton and Habiba. <laughs> anyway, we're getting ready to go. Kareem made one for Kenton. He had to go take the car in to make sure it gets serviced. Because whenever you're going on a long trip, right? You should always do that. Check the car. Because the last time, what happened to us? Nothing. Yes. What? The last time, didn't like the car almost explode and then we had to drive like five miles an hour? Yes, we did. And then we ended up in a small town for the night. You forgot? Yeah. <laughs> Blocked it out of my memory. So. Right. That was, that was horrible. We were like stuck in some small town. <laughs> With duct tape. <laughs> With duct tape. <laughs> You try to fix the car with duct tape. You always have. Actually, it was um, insulate. It was um, <laughs> yeah, insulation tape or some um, sealing tape. But anyway, he learned his lesson. So this time, he took the car in. I was not going to do last time. A uh, hose blew. Yeah, well, because it hadn't been checked, right? No, it, it was fine. You can tell. Hmm. All right, Miriam's getting her hair done before we go on this trip so that I twist it before, put some product on it, some water, some of my favorite product, and then we twist it. And then when we get there, or well by tomorrow, her hair should be nice and shiny and textured. So yeah, we're almost done. Should be in the car. We should have been in the car about an hour ago. This time is not my fault. Ken had to take the car to have that done. No, you're still working on her hair. No, I'm working on her hair because I was waiting on you. I'm done. Oh, now you're done. So, this is what we do. <laughs> Argue before we have to go. Actually, we're not arguing. This is our normal conversation. A back and forth. Pray you, Miriam. Okay, see, we're gonna take this. I need to hurry up for real. Um, <laughs> Miriam's behind the camera. Ah, uh, silliness. So we finally made it out of the house. I have one coat on of this polish. It's pretty. Very pretty, very neutral, very elegant. Don't you think? Yep, we're all packed, in the car, loaded. Look at us, it's packed. I swear, you would think we were going away for months. Bottles, snacks, all of that. All right, look at my bag, my cute little bag. It's also packed. Let's show you what's in here. Got my cell phone, of course. Bye-bye, um, Hong Kong buffet. <laughs> well, Bye-bye. Yeah. Lotion, small bottle of lotion, eye patch, so that when I want to fall asleep, my charger for my phone, my purse, and I can't even see in there more junk, uh, change purse, you know, for your change. So I wasn't going to show you what I look like. I thought I was going to try to do this whole vlog without seeing my face. But you know what? That would be rude, wouldn't it? What you got there, Ken? Urine. Ken, that's so rude. Exactly. Now you got urine on your pants. That's Man, what you get. This is what that's what you get. It's not urine. What is that? <laughs> it's my drink. It's vodka. 
It is not vodka. You better not be drinking no vodka while we're driving. It's stressing me out. I got to drink some vodka. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's what you get for saying that. Now you look like you pissed on yourself. <laughs> anyway, do you like my glasses? Yes, I, I'm out of the house with this ridiculous scarf that I go to sleep in to keep my hair neat. I have my hair pulled back in a bun, but it's done. No makeup day today. Well, not until we get there and I change. I don't feel like makeup on this trip. You guys, look, my baby got me these cookies. These are my favorite. These are the type of cookies you get in the airplane. If you've flown on Delta Airlines, they often have these cookies. See my face. Ah. <laughs> in a packet, just like you do in the airplane. sunny today but at least it's not super hot so it's a nice day and it is Friday it says on there what crush Friday oh wait let's see that love sign let me show you this love sign like I said Virginia is for lovers isn't that cute oh so nice Like you, mama. <laughs> oh, I just realized, Kareem, you're really chilling back there, huh? Look at him, leg up. Doing like your mama. Those long legs. Do you have enough room back there? Yeah. Yeah. This is me. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it's going to be quite like that. <laughs> this is my song. If I die, this is the song oh. I want played. Oh. I, I am all apologies. This is me. Can't sing either. I can't sing either. I never said I could sing. You know what? Actually, I really think with training, I could sing. I think with training, most of us can do most things. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, because the, doctors, did because the doctors, I remember once telling me, I really look like I had vocal cords of a singer, if that shit is legit or not, I don't know, but I have heard that. And because I'm always belting out loud, I mean, I really think with training, I could sing.
back to the elevator. So. So we made it into the elevator because <laughs> I was determined to get into the elevator, get to my room before anybody sees us. All right, let's go where we are. So Khalid's leading us to the room. We just tried to open the wrong door. It wouldn't open. We didn't realize it was the wrong door. <laughs> All right, okay, thankfully there are two beds. So this is definitely, this will work. This will work, you guys. Let's turn on the lights. can see the time. Time to get dressed. Okay. I was looking at my kids chilling here. Look at them watching Harry Potter. Hubby's on the computer. Mariam ironed my clothes and hung my stuff up, which is so nice of her. Is she ready? What do you think? The skirt turned out looking really good, right? It's a little bit late, but better late than never. We were just exhausted and had to take a shower, freshen up a little bit. But I think she looks okay. See this skirt, the Ankara swing skirt. I'm wearing heels, so I feel so much taller than normal. But my hubby's looking cute too. Hey, you are. Uh, cute and exhausted. Cute and exhausted. So this is the hotel lobby and this is where the group had met earlier today. But I had snuck away because I just wasn't ready to deal with people yet, but this is really cute. <laughs> So they're at 9.19 now. That's where we need to go. So we're in the elevator. Elevator going up, going up. This is a pretty view. Hello. <laughs> That's my husband back there.
Yes, I see. <laughs> Honey, go ahead and help yourself. What? Help yourself, have a plate. Have a selfie of me. Look at that. <laughs> selfie cross a selfie. I put it down. I'll change the hair. Okay, okay, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm going to rely on you guys for pictures. Hey, Veronica. I see your cute son on Facebook. Oh, really? All these Leos. August? Uh-huh. My dad's eleven. August. August, yeah. Okay. Three whole days. She's three days older. Three days, just three days. Mom has seniors. I don't think so. This one's like, cool. This one, yeah, I think I'm going to have yeah. one. Yeah. Okay, get one. That's the best one. Get a picture of it. <laughs> Spicy. Plantain. What's this? Fish roll. Okay. Okay. Here. And that looks like chicken wings, right? That looks like maybe pork. No. What? Yeah, there's pork. Oh, okay, cool. Pork plantain. And that's jollof rice. Jollof rice. Okay. Ghanaian jollof rice. I know. I was teasing you. <laughs> <laughs> and what's this? Isn't that what they call pop pop? Uh, pop pop is different too. And pop pop is bigger, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't pop pop bigger? Look at my Facebook sister, and you live where? Toronto. Canada? Yes. In Canada. Wow. And how far is it? Oh, how long does it take you to get here? Oh, well, I flew, but okay. I drove in from Raleigh actually. Okay. So, wow. Remy's husband. <laughs> we met in California. <laughs> What'd you get? Everything. Everything is good. Yeah. Hot. <laughs> Pepper. Zuya. Taste familiar. That's no. Uh, one meat pie. Meat pie. Yeah, that's the one that looks like a patty. Yeah, it tastes like a like I remember Okay, I'm making a video. We're here at the 6th Annual FGC Sokoto North America Alumni Reunion. Let's see who's here. This is our hostess with the mostest, Nike, who has fed us and we are fed up. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, we're filming, we're filming. Okay. Everybody wave, everybody wave. Thank you. That, oh, that Fusha Toro. And our lovely guest. And remind me again, young man? Anthony. Anthony. Who reminds me of you soon? Shade Tola. I know who Tola is. Hi, young man. How are you? Hey, Shango. Shango is here. This is our wife, Omosu. This is Hubby Batuna representing. This is our other wife. This is Evelyn. This is Reverend Austin. Nika again. I have friend Yeti Baby. <laughs> this is Senior Funke. This is Senior Lucy. This is some young man. Somebody kid. Somebody kid. Senior Nalego. 
Senior Charlie B. Senior Lefebvre. Senior Dr. Lama. This is Richard. These are some other young men that I don't know their name, but hello, nice to meet you. This is another young man. There's more, there's more. Hello, welcome, welcome, peace. That's Eric. That's Tika, peace. And these are two husbands, honorary members. So we're back in the room and we brought the kids some uh, to go boxes or containers of food. So they get some too. So Mariam's having an issue with the fact that tonight she's going to have to share the bed with Khalid. Yes, you are. You just finished having a major issue. These two, they're always at it. Always something. I got Kenton snoring next to me, then I got to listen to you two. <laughs> just wanted to say good night, good night, good night. It was a long day today, operating on about five hours sleep. And I apologize, Kenton is snoring behind me, next to me. Kenton? I know he can't help it. Well, let me tell you what can help snoring. Weight loss can help snoring. <laughs> So we're working on it. Anyway, um, yeah, where was I? So today was a really long day and operating with five hours sleep. So I'm hoping to get at least seven tonight. It was really nice meeting all of those FGC former peers of mine. Well, they're still my peers, but I can't believe that over 25 years ago, over 25 years ago, they were classmates. And what is amazing is they remember so much about me and my family, considering I knew them between the ages of 11 to 16, okay? Some of them I might have known before, but majority of them I met when I was 11. Between the ages of 11 and 16, and they know so much about me and my family and my past. So it's, it's kind of interesting because honestly, as one of them pointed out, Kenton was just shoving me. Um, sometimes he wakes in and out of his sleep. Anyway, as one of them was pointing out, I must have like selective amnesia. Well, not selective amnesia. Like I truly, unintentionally don't remember so many of those people, okay? Again, maybe because we were so young or as one of, as he pointed out, that it might have been associated with a bit of a traumatic childhood and not all of my childhood was traumatic, but part of it um, was traumatic. And definitely the transition between Nigeria and the USA was a little bit difficult. So maybe I blocked all of that out. I don't know. But I definitely do not mean to be disrespectful in any way. I did not unintentionally not remember these people not because I don't care or that they are not important it's not like that it's really more and I'm explaining this because hopefully some of them will watch this video it's just that I genuinely don't remember so many of them um, some I do I'm not saying all of them now there are most of the females I tend to remember but for some reason, a lot of the males, I just don't remember. And of course, people have gotten older. You know, I, it's like you're in my head. I'm trying to remember what a 15 or 14 year old looked like. And now you're a grown man, you know, so I'm just not going to remember when they tell me names or give me names of people. I don't really remember. 
Anyway, but it's not about the past. It's about moving on in the future and where do we go from here. They are a great group of people. They were so welcoming. They were so happy to see me. I felt like a damn celebrity. I was just like, ah. I mean, it was kind of overwhelming at times how many people came up to say hi and they knew my name and they knew my cousins, they knew my father, you know, it's just a little bit overwhelming. Um, but I really, really appreciate each and every one of them and I thought Kenton was good sport. The food was amazing. I really appreciate all the people and all the hard work that went into bringing all of these people together. So anyway, before I ramble some more, let's say good night and see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is also going to be packed with some activities and it's going to be a long day. It's going to end, it's going to start with a meeting with the alumni and then it's going to end with a formal dance party. So we'll see how that goes because your girl can't really dance well, but we'll see. She likes music. See you tomorrow. Kenton's already out. <laughs>